welcome back to Classical Grooming. Phoenix Artisan's Accoutrements. That is a kind of, I don't know if you call it niche, a niche house, but it is a um, supplier and a developer of shaving goods here in the United States. You go to the website, they developed all sorts of different aftershaves, soaps, and other things uh, in-house. And there's quite a bit to pick from. The problem is, sometimes the name and the description really doesn't tell you what it smells like. So I thought I'd walk through three of them, kind of review those with you. So the first one I uh, experimented with was Supreme Sandalwood Science. This is exactly what it says. This is a sandalwood aftershave. And it smells good. It's very single note, so sandalwood is kind of what you get. And it lasts for about four hours. The brace is great, it has plenty of skin conditioners, and that's going to be true for virtually all of PAA's offering. So the second one I'm going to talk about is Planet Earth. Now this one actually had some notes listed on it, so I'm going to share that with you. Uh, top notes of raspberry, pine, rose, lavender, and bergamot. The middle is carnation, leather, sandalwood, geranium, and patchouli. And the base has leather, tonka bean, amber, benzoin, oak moss, bourbon, and vanilla bean. So it's such a mixture that I couldn't really pick out any particular note. But I can certainly verify that it smells sweet, floral, and has a patchouli-esque base to it. Uh, first time I tried it, again, like many of my experiences, I wasn't really wild about it. The second time was a little bit more intriguing. Uh, there's something I do like about it, not quite enough to run out and buy it, but I would, I think I'm gonna get another sample and take it for a third and a fourth spin, because usually I can get two, two uses out of each sample. And it's currently also, the problem is that it's not currently being offered. PAA tends to have this um, history of having something for sale for a while and then pulling it back and then after a while the demand builds up again and they'll offer it again. So I'm hoping that they will reintroduce it so I can take it for another spin and, and give it a whirl. And the last one I had, they didn't give any notes, but they called it an homage to Brut. And it's labeled Et Tu, I guess after Et Tu Brute. Uh, so this is their homage to Brut and it's pretty good homage. I mean, it doesn't smell, does it smell exactly like Brut? No, it's supposed to smell more like what Brut smelled like before several reformulations and it does a pretty good job. There are some, there's a, it's a little bit greener than your drugstore Brut. And I remember uh, Brut from the 80s and the 70s having a much stronger, more, much more present greenness to it. So uh, this one is definitely on my to buy list. So as soon as it, it, this particular fragrance, this particular aftershave is sold seasonally, so as soon as the season rolls around and I, if I have the money to spare, I will probably add that to my shopping cart. I hope to review more of Phoenix Artisan's accoutrements aftershaves. I mean, they are good and it's just a matter of which ones you try work for you. So I would encourage you to go to their website buy some samples, they have, I think they cost like a dollar sample, and see what uh, appeals to your particular taste. I intend to do the same and I'm looking forward to covering those in a future video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.